What's up guys, we're here and today we're going to go through a complete beginner's guide to maps. Let's do it. Path of Exile is not beginner friendly and it can be quite overwhelming once you get into maps or just anything that you're doing in the game. So real quick, I want to just show you guys that when you finish when you finish the story is when you're going to get into maps okay maps are essentially like dungeons if you've done another arpg it is what the like one of the huge end game systems that is in path of exile it's called maps so when you finish the campaign and you uh kill katava which is the final boss of the campaign you're going to get your very first map from commander kurik okay he's going to give you a brand new map it's going to be your very first one and you're going to be able to go in and start completing this entire map tree now how do you do that you don't have your hideout yet or if you've got it that's fine but this is where you're going to be at and you can get your first map from kurik and you're going to come down to your map device and you're going to put it in your map device and then you're going to run the map okay so how do maps work maps are going to act like dungeons and all of the maps have certain tiers i'm gonna take all my void stones out so you can see that these maps tier one tier two tier three tier four tier five six and we're going to go all the way up to 15 and then 16. so similarly to diablo 3 where you have the different tiers of difficulty you can go all the way to t16 this is very similar in that fashion and you're going to be grinding to advance your maps as you go up through the tiers okay now how do we do that you're going to get progress from completing a map when you put it in the atlas okay or excuse me not the atlas but when you put it in the map device and what you're going to be looking for is on the map you're going to be you're going to let me find let me grab a map for you so that way you guys can see what you're going to be doing is going to maps i'm just going to grab a random one and what you're going to be looking for on your map is it's going to have a atlas map complete and then a bonus objective complete when you first get maps these things are going to say incomplete now when you complete a map you are going to get the atlas map completion to get the bonus objective we're going to talk about that in just a second but when you complete your maps okay if i just ran glacier and i get my completion now i have the dot on here or a better example is chateau or chatu chatu <laughs> if i just completed chatu now that map is in my loot pool and now i'm going to be able to get the map again it can drop when you kill monsters that's another way that you get additional maps is by killing monsters and they can drop a map that you've already completed or maps that you haven't completed in this sense now how do we get other maps that are not on this list or ones i haven't done like if i haven't done acid that's what these little lines are for these little lines are what's called connected or connected maps so when i have the chateau map i've completed it and when we can like we run the map you have a chance to drop connected maps always we're going to get into the atlas skill tree to kind of help you guys with that but this is what's going to be in the blue pool so then you're going to be able to get a chance to get additional maps now after you complete you know the story you get your very first map from commander kirik well how do you get other maps besides them dropping from monsters so one of the ways is going to commander kirik and you're going to be able to purchase items and he's going to have just a random assortment of maps okay like all these are completely random you know you can just go through here you can hold all on your keyboard to see if you have the atlas map objective complete as well as the bonus objective so that's one way to get it another way is to go on to poe trade you can come on to poe trade you can go to bulk item you can come down here to maps and you can go pick a map castle ruins and you can see you know what people are selling them for and you can try to buy maps with currency or if you get a lot of duplicate maps you can try to trade them with other players so commander kirik is a way to get maps dropping them from monster kills is a way to get maps and then you can buy them through trade if you are playing trade league if you're not playing trade league or you're playing solo self found or you're playing hardcore or whatever the case is then it's going to be a little bit harder but we can talk about that in the atlas tree so now that you know how to get maps uh what is the bonus objective when you go to complete a map 
okay? Now the bonus objective is very important because this is what gives us points for our Atlas tree, okay? We get a total of like, I think 123 total points that we can put in this Atlas tree. I know it can seem a little overwhelming, but the Atlas tree is how we do specific end game activities. As an example, one is doing Legion, we can do Essence or Delve, we can do Strong Boxes, Essences, we can do Incursion. There's so many different activities and it all flows through the Atlas skill tree. Now completing a bonus objective here, it can be a little bit overwhelming. People may not understand how to do it and how to get the bonus objective. So we're just gonna grab, let me grab a couple maps here. Another way to understand how to get the bonus objective is understanding the different map types, okay? There is what's gonna be called white maps, which are your normal maps, whether they're white or blue. These are called white maps, okay? Then there is going to be yellow maps, all right? That's these ones. And then there's going to be, let me grab another one. There is going to be what's called red maps. And to have a red map is where a yellow map has been hit with a Val orb, which corrupts the map. And now it's red, hence the unidentified or corrupted. Okay. So there's two different versions of this. There's this one where it's unidentified and corrupted, meaning I can't take my scroll of wisdom and identify it. We just know what the basic modifiers are. Then what you can do is you can take another one. Let's see if I can get it. We grab that and then we val it. And you can see that it says corrupted at the bottom and it adds additional modifiers to the map. So to get our bonus objective skill points for your Atlas tree, okay, on white maps, which is one to five, you have to have them at least be white. They can be blue, they can be yellow, they can be whatever they are, but as long as they're at least a bare minimum of white and you complete the map, you're gonna get your bonus objective points. Okay, from six to 10, all right, which are called yellow maps, okay, they have to be at least yellow, all right? You're gonna want them to be yellow maps from six to 10, okay? That is how you're gonna get the bonus objective points. And then on red maps, which start at tier 11, all the way to tier 16, they're going to have to be corrupted maps. That is how you're gonna get the bonus. Otherwise, it's only gonna say Atlas map complete and then bonus objective incomplete. So that's how you get the bonus points for this uh, when you're completing maps. Now, the Atlas tree, as you're going through this, there's a lot of really good guides out there and we're gonna talk about a few different strategies in another video. But essentially what you're gonna be doing is looking at these nodes, like these ones, which give you an adjacent map drop chance. I have almost all of the points in here because this is what we do called map sustain. So as you're going through and completing these and you're doing your chateau maps, and what that means is that the more percentage I have for a connected map to drop, which is again by the lines, that there's a chance that when I do a Chateau map that a Acid Caverns map could drop, a Infested Valley map can drop, Laboratory, uh, the Pyramid map, or a Dunes map when I run this. It's a chance for any one of the connected by the dots map could drop, which is a good thing, right? So if you come over here and look on my skill tree here or my bonuses from all the points that I've put in my Atlas skill tree, I have a 66% chance for a monster when you're killing monsters in maps, for your maps to drop an additional connected map, which is any of the ones that I showed you. And then we also have a chance, an 18% chance for the maps to be duplicated, which means two will drop instead of one. So when you're going through the tree, getting additional uh, map drop chance, you know, these are very, very important. And then there's quantity, there's also increase effective modifiers on your map so when you have additional ways to get map drops it'll just duplicate them or give you another way to get them right so i'm not going to go too in depth into the atlas tree but that is just a crash course on how maps work you got white maps yellow maps and red maps and how you know you go through the entire journey to get through and complete all of these is towards your end game Go through and complete these. That's how you're gonna get your points for your 
Atlas skill tree, which is gonna give you all of the different currency. All the currency that you guys see that we get during the live stream in the game, all of this stuff comes from the campaign, monster drops, boss drops, and when you're mapping and doing all of these things and getting increased bonuses for all of that. So this is maps, just a crash course for beginners. I've only been playing for a couple months, but like the video, let me know what you guys think if you're new to maps in the game. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.